one approach utilized as a checkpoint inhibitor prior to surgery, followed by surgery, and followed by additional checkpoint inhibitor. It's an attractive strategy because it allows delivery of the drug with the primary tumor still in place when the antigen load is the highest. So the, the cells, the T cells get primed and then patients continue that therapy afterwards to maintain that response. The downsides to that uh, concept is that patients will not be able to move on to surgery immediately. Pre-surgical administration of this drug would delay, maybe potentially preclude some patients from ever uh, going, on, uh, going on to surgery. The second concept was using a checkpoint inhibitor in a purely adjuvant setting. Um, and I did mention one of the, one of the uh, attractions, at least to me, from the, from the pre-surgical trial is the fact that then we'll be able to examine the tissue when the kidney is removed and really understand how these checkpoints affect the primary. Can we learn something about that to predict which patients will benefit versus not? So the second trial design utilizes a uh, checkpoint inhibitor in a pure, purely adjuvant setting. The kidney is already removed. The advantage is, is that there's no delay to treatment. The standard of care right now is to remove the tumor, which is already done. But we miss an opportunity to really understand how these drugs affect uh, the primary tumor.